what can I say? I was a young teacher in a university, fascinated by what new things were going on in the world of music. Bob was musical, and he thought musically. I have to stop and think exactly how, how we met, but I know we met at a NISMA festival, and NISMA stands for New York State School Music Association. I thought right away that here's a, a guy who understands the technology of what I hear, and he thought that I was a guy who hears the thing that I can solve with the technology. And it became a friendship that was very special. It was a friendship on what we did, what we knew, what we loved, all having to do with music. And it's funny, some of the things that we talked about, what kind of new musical instruments can we create? I talked to him about what a musical instrument needs to do. Bob knew right away what, what I was thinking about and he, uh, he came up with the idea of a prototype. We both thought that this instrument should be an instrument that people are going to want to buy and have in their homes and bring to gigs with them. It is a true musical instrument because you have the same kind of control over your musical sound. Every performer gets that uh, because every composer wants it, you know, no matter what the instrument is.